As you start using Adobe After Effects, you will definitely realize it uses a lot of resources. In fact, if you have a low-end computer, After Effects may feel quite slow at times. But in this video, I will show you ways you can really make After Effects feel faster. Let us first start off with, with reducing the resolution. Resolution, resolution, resolution. As you know in After Effects, you constantly have to preview a video to see how it would look like, how your new effects would look like. Well, by reducing the resolution, After Effects will have far fewer pixels to work with. And as a result, things will feel much faster. In fact, this is probably the best way and the simplest way to boost performance in After Effects immediately. It's a day and night difference on the spot. You will quickly see it. And to do this, go to where it says View on top, go to Resolution, and then from there, you can choose from full, half, third, and a quarter. I recommend choosing a quarter, and I'll show you why very shortly. Now, for this effect to really work at its best, make sure you close After Effects, and when it's just open, you, choose, you change the resolution to a quarter you will really see the difference and you will notice that After Effects runs smoother for a longer period of time compared to the last time you used it without this setting turned on. And interestingly enough, if you go to view again and then go to resolution, you can reduce the resolution even further. If I click on custom, here I can input my own values in. But just make sure you input the same values for horizontal and vertical or else your your preview will look weird now one thing you can notice is that as i reduce the resolution more and more the preview looks more and more blurry but don't worry about this because your final video will not look like this this is only a preview to really get an idea of how your video will really look like you can temporarily change the view to full and this is especially good if you have this special effect that you really want to see how it will look like. Temporarily change the resolution to full. There you go. It looks, it looks clean and crisp again. So let me change it back to a quarter. And let me tell you why a quarter is best. Because as you can see, when I change it back to a quarter, yes, the resolution is reduced. You can see that the difference. But it's not that bad. This is still work workable. You know, it's not that bad. And if I zoom out, <laughs> you will not notice that I changed the resolution. You see, now everything looks still perfectly good. It's really hard to notice if you zoom out a bit. So quarter is best because it substantially reduces the amount of resources After Effects use for previews. And, and it does not look that bad. So it's great for boosting performance. But of course, if you really want to squeeze in performance as much as possible, then reduce, reduce the resolution to where it fits your needs. Something else you can do to boost After Effects performance, and this seems basic, but it's very important, is closing programs you don't need. For example, if you have the whole Creative Cloud suite, like Adobe Photoshop, After Effects, Illustrator, and so on, and you are using all of them at the same time, well, you are going to run into some hiccups especially if you have a low-end computer. So please close programs you don't need, especially browsing tabs that you don't need on your web browsers. Something else you can do to boost performance is by storing your cache files on a separate fast drive. If you go and edit and then choose preferences and then choose media in this cache, you will see several types of cache and you can choose to store these cache files on a separate folder in your extra drive all right so if you go right here you can see it's, it tells you to choose folder and from there you can create a folder and store your cache files there and as you can see i can always change the amount of this cache size i want to use i have a crazy amount of 600 gigs but you probably don't need that much and of course the faster the drive the better uh, but a good external hard drive with good read and write speeds will do you well also. So click OK. All right. Something else you can do, and this is a must. This, this is a must. You, 
if you have a mechanical hard drive, a basic HDD, basic hard drive, you need an SSD. This will not only help After Effects, but it would help your entire system. Your entire system, your entire computer will feel much faster. I mean, please do yourself a favor. Get an SSD if you're not using one. It's a day and night difference. Yeah. Trust me, if you're still using an after, if you're still using an, SSD, an HDD, please do so. Something else, other than that, you can do to boost performance. It's a big plus. It will. It really helps. Is getting more RAM for After Effects because After Effects will use as 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 much RAM as you throw at it. So getting more memory will help a lot. And lastly, now this is optional. Is getting a graphics card, but make sure that Adobe After Effects supports it. You can Google it like ty by typing something like GTX something something and then making sure After Effects supports it. And so if you do all of these things, if you reduce the resolution to where it fits your needs, if you close on the save programs, if you store your your files to a separate drive, a separate fast drive, and if you use an SSD, instead of regular of a, of a regular hard drive and lastly if you get more ram you will really see the difference in after effects and if you have more tips on making after effects faster that i didn't mention in this video like for example disabling ray tracing for 3d that i did not mention feel free to mention them in the comments below for more videos like this please subscribe and thanks for watching